to Prioritize News. You may be wondering what we do. Prioritize News is a way for us to share some facts and events about what's happening in Milton Keynes. It's also a chance for us to share some of the exciting things happening at our school and in the local area. We'll have articles on sports, health, your communities, the environment and lots more. So let's get started with a look at how play is important to us. At our school we take play very seriously. Let's take a look at some of our play equipment. Our school has invested in equipment to give us lots of variety and fun when playing. We asked these students why they think play is important. It is a good way for us to socialise with our friends. We enjoy it. It stops us from getting bored. It's a good way to get fresh air. It improves our fitness. Because it's fun. These are just a few ways we can benefit from play. Just remember to be safe and enjoy it. Back to the studio. Thank you for the amazing reports. Maybe you want to go out and play even more. Now we're going to take a closer look at the estate and community surrounding our school. As you can see, houses are now visible from the school and new people are moving in every week. We want to find out a bit more about what is happening around us. For years our school was the only building on this estate. Now there are houses growing up all around us. With residents moving in and communities starting to grow, we thought we would have a close look at what is going on. With 1,300 homes being built in the development, there are going to be lots of change over the next few years. We have invited Hannah and Jason from the Community Action MK to come and speak to us so we can find out more. Hello, I'm interviewing Hannah and Jason from Community Action MK. What are you doing to improve Tano Park? Okay, um, first off, I'm a community mobiliser. So that means I work on the ground with new communities. Tattenhoe Park is extremely new um, and I'm very aware that there's people there that haven't got any friends or family. So the idea is for me to go in, put on activities, um, take arrival packs to their homes and just make them feel welcome and to tell them things that are going on around the area. Okay. And I'm Hannah, I'm the Growth Officer and I work with Jo San. My role is to work with residents to let them know about the growth of Milton Keynes. I also support voluntary and community groups to set up and find funding and also to think about what the new communities are in Milton Keynes and how they might want to work there. Is there any way we can help? Yeah, um, often we put on activities, lots and lots of different activities, so if we advertise it in school it would be great if you come along. Um, but it would be really nice to find out what you guys would like to see. So probably like maybe sports, park. Or like fun centres or maybe festivals. Okay, that sounds good. I've seen it when I go to my dad's. Okay. Well, there is plan for a community centre on Tattenhoe Park, and in the meantime, we're running lots of community activities at the school and out in the playing fields as well. So it'd be great if you guys could come along um, with Andy as well. Okay. What's our best way to contact you with our ideas? Uh, you can email us at Community Action MK or we're often quite um, roundabout in the community so just come over and say hi. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Back to the studio. Wow, that was interesting. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast. This has been Prioritise News. Goodbye for